Hi, I'm Marie Stelling with Autumn Ridge Residences. I invite you to join us for Senior Living Conversations with Autumn Ridge. We take a look at what life is like in the senior living community, the feelings and emotions involved with moving in, and what you can expect after a move in to a senior living community. So please join us for our Senior Living Conversation and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Bye. All right, well, um, thank you for coming and joining me today, Lorraine. I'm Marie with Autumn Ridge Residences. You know that. Yes. For the people that are watching and listening. Um, and Lorraine, you are one of our beloved residents here. Thanks. How long have you lived here? Uh, in March, I was here three years. Okay. So you want to tell me a little bit about yourself and how you wound up at Autumn Ridge? Well, I got unexpectedly ill. I didn't know I was ill, but I was ill. And then I woke up in the hospital and uh, thank you God, I have two sons. Uh, one lives out in Baldwin, two story though. And then Mark, uh, my older one, that one in uh, Baldwin is Matt. And my uh, older one is Mark. And they live uh, just out here off of Highway A. Mm -hmm. And it's level. I could get around and everything. Mm -hmm. So I spent time there trying to, I guess I was loopy. I mean, I couldn't understand myself. And they had a hard time. Yeah, I was very, very fortunate. Mm -hmm. So it took me a while. And then, and fortunately, my older son, where I was staying, uh, Mark and Bev, uh, he was working from home. Otherwise, I don't know what we would have done. Right. So God was with us there for sure. Yeah. And, and also God was with us when they found me. Mm -hmm. because I wasn't sick and they found me on the floor and you'd think with all of course my younger son I think yeah he's the one that found me and uh, of course he called for help mm -hmm. but you'd think with all those people from you know whoever comes to help you right I would notice all these strange people in my bedroom. Well, I didn't know. You had no idea, huh? Nope. Yeah. Not a clue. So then you went and tried to transition to living with your son for a little bit after that? Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then uh, we knew it wouldn't be a, a permanent thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so then they were looking and then they found Autumn Ridge. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, so they live in the area. Hey, did you guys visit a couple different places or? Uh, I didn't. You didn't visit My any. kids did. You, they did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, and they chose this one. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm glad of that. Yeah. Uh, because I've been very satisfied. I never had any problem. Uh, I'm not real good with change. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I had no problem adjusting. Mm -hmm. I got around better when I first came here, but, uh, you know, I'm old. Parts break down, kind of like your tire. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, so, yeah, it's worked. And at first I was on a different hallway, uh -huh. but the hallway wasn't we weren't compatible. Mm -hmm. uh, I needed, uh, when I'd come out of my old apartment, I had a lot of steps to go down to get out in case there was an emergency. Yeah. So they put me on a list and they moved me. So now if an emergency occurs, you just go out the hallway, open the door and go outside. Yeah. Yeah. So. A lot more safe for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But we also want to make sure you're safe in case of emergencies. So. Right. And right. Good. So that worked out. Mm -hmm. So um, it sounded like you had quite the transition to get here because it wasn't expected. No. Um, how do you feel like the transition time for settling in? Um, did, it t did that take you a little bit? To no. Kinda... no. 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 I'm a people person and I'm 
sociable, mm -hmm. uh, or I hope I am. Uh, that's just part of my nature, I think. Yeah. Uh, but I it, no, because I walked around and I have a, <laughs> I have. When somebody new goes by our table, or I, I usually say hi. What's your name? Because I'm the stranger mm -hmm. at that point. Yeah. You know, so I know nobody. So how are you going to find out who they are if you don't ask them? Absolutely. You know. Yeah. So you're part of my welcoming committee. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. So what are some, since you've moved here, what are, what do you, would you tell somebody is your favorite part about being in a senior living community? I think it helps your your family adjust to where you are and how safe you are mm -hmm. and how satisfied you are and check them all. Yeah. Yeah. Those all work for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you feel like you're giving not just yourself, but your family a support system. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my, yes. Yeah. That's a big deal because sometimes... You know, we don't really look at mom as aging or, you know, um, you know, that sometimes that's a, a hard reality except and then if you've never been through it before, you know, it can be hard to navigate those waters on your own. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I feel very fortunate that I have family that cares about me and uh I don't know how else to put it. Keeps an eye on me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh-huh. And they like to come to some of the activities, too. Oh, yeah. They always have something going on. Yeah. Well, and I remember that your daughter-in-law joined you for the Mother's Day tea party. You bet. Yeah. Yeah. So she was dressed to the nine and had a good time. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sure it probably means a lot to both of you that you're able to have a place where um, they feel welcomed and that there's fun things for them to do. and um, cause it's about the quality time at this point. Right. Right. Um, spending that cause every time you spend time with somebody, you never know what the next time might be look like, what that might look like and where they might be in life. So, um, that okay. definitely gives you a, a way to have, make those memories and make them. Count. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. And my kids, if they have questions, if they have any kind of whatever, uh, they feel, rightly so, they feel that they can come and find answers to their questions. Yeah. So that's important, not only for me, but for them. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. And they don't have to figure it out on their own. No. That's what we're here for. Yeah. You know, and if we've got questions, we'll call them too. So, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's right. So, if a big thing that I'm a big proponent on is I see it way too often where people wait too long, right? And when you wait too long, this uh, community like ours may no longer be an option for somebody. Right. They might have to, you know, go to the next step. So, in trying to change that conversation, what would you, um, what would your words of advice be to somebody that's, you know, um, maybe they're at home, they're lonely, um, maybe they're struggling uh, with other things on being at home, um, or maybe they've had some type of big event like you had. What would your advice be to them? Don't wait so long that you're beyond help. Uh, because, as you mentioned, it was an unexpected happening mm -hmm. uh, because when all that first started with me, my kids told me later they thought they were losing me. They thought I was d dying, so it was that serious. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you wait too long, the transition is going to be harder for you, mm -hmm. and you may resist things that you shouldn't. Yeah. And I feel very fortunate that I have a family that participates in in everything. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's definitely a really big blessing that everybody's lucky to have that. I know, and I look around and I see that mm -hmm. because there are people, they have no family left, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm old. I am old. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am old. But last night I had a surprise visit from Mark and Beth, and they came, she was bringing, they were bringing me some medicine, uh, which they drop off at the med's office. And then they came on back to my room, surprise visit. And all of a sudden, out pops this beautiful little, my great granddaughter. She just turned 10 and she was kind of hiding behind Beth. So that was a nice surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Those are always so welcome. Absolutely. Yeah. So welcome. That's something you're going to remember and they're going to remember yeah. that too. You yeah. Yeah. Um, I always like to tell people it's a, a lot of times those interactions are about how they make you feel, oh, yeah. um, you know, and for them to see how wonderfully surprised you were and, and how happy that made you that they did come and visit. I'm sure they could feel your feelings. Right. You know. Right. And uh, my great granddaughter, her name is Kylie. And uh, when they were leaving, uh, you know, hugs kisses all that and so they went out and uh, into the hallway and all of a sudden she popped back in and she said right she calls me Gigi for great grandma and she popped back in and she said I love you and she was gone again mm -hmm. half a minute later she opens the door I love you Gigi <laughs> yeah oh. so those are all things that help you keep going yeah absolutely yeah yeah do you feel like this, you being here, kind of restored that parent-child relationship with your family? Yeah. Well, we've we've always been close, mm -hmm. but this is close in a different way. You know, you have babies, you raise them. Now, I'm the baby, and it it's a different. It's different. It is. Yeah. Yeah, but now when they visit you, they don't have to provide your care. They're visiting you because they genuinely want to come see you. That's right. You know, they that love is... you. They want to spend time with you. Right. Making that quality time for you. Right, right. And if, and, you know, my kids call me, you know, which is good. And if they don't come, I still have contact with them because we're on the phone. Yeah. You know, and sometimes I have stupid questions. Hard to believe, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I call them. That's all right. They're very patient. You know, I, I'm i a different generation because Gigi, my, myself and uh, my great-granddaughter, Kylie, and her daddy, my grandson, Kyle, we live together. Well, I could no longer live by myself. I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't be able to administer my own medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, couldn't cook. I would be a hazard. Uh, and she, and Kyla would say, Gigi, when she was real little, I don't know why she was trying to teach me how to use my new phone. And uh, she's like, Gigi, I don't know why. Now, just watch what I do, and it'll be easy for you. So, but I have to say, one of the things that worried me, uh, unnecessarily, fortunately, uh, I was afraid she'd forget me. Because mm -hmm. we'd lived together since she was an infant. Mm -hmm. And I was afraid she would forget me, but she hasn't because they make sure that, yeah. She's still here and involved. You're still yeah. involved. Yeah. Well, I love to hear that. And I love that you have such an amazing family. And I it do. sounds like you know how blessed you are to have them. Yes. Um, and I know that we are blessed to have you. Um, I'm so grateful that you chose to call Autumn Ridge home that, and that we're a part of your family here. Um, and we just love you. And we're, we hope that you call Autumn Ridge home for many more years. Me and, too. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, so thank you, Lorraine. I appreciate you coming today and having the courage to share your story, not just with me, but anybody that might might be listening today. So right. thank you. Right. Well, you know that usually if it's somebody that's new in that, I usually say, pick here because you'll be happy. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. You always let them know right out the gate. Don't yeah. You? yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lorraine. I appreciate you. Okay. Now, do I get a ride back home? Sure. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Senior Living Conversations with Autumn Ridge. We hope that information provided to you today helps you make an informative decision about your choices in senior living. If you have any questions or need help, please feel free to reach out at 636-931-8400.